Blessings, brothers and sisters. I have yet another word of encouragement for somebody who's watching me right about now. The word is, you could be the only person that could help this person. You could be the only one. So stop chasing them away. Just because in your previous experiences you were rejected, it does not mean when people come to you, you have to reject them. That just because you were evicted, it does not mean that you have to cause others go away. Brothers and sisters, God could have brought that person in your life just to help them. Yes, you may have things that you have to deal with, but help is important. It is important to help your neighbor. It is important to help those who are in need. Because there is a reason as to why they are coming to you. Yes, that person could have hurt you. That person in the previous could have done things or said things that are, are hurting. But when they need help, please help them. Because love is better. It is better for you to love than to hate. Jesus loved us. Scripture says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. By you helping them, you are, are letting them know that Jesus cares about them. When they look at you, they will see the Jesus in you. They will see the God in you because God resides in you. So my brothers and sisters, stop pushing people away. There are some people, of course, you have to run away from, but there are some specific people you have to run to. You have to help them. When you see your neighbor's house on fire, you don't just uh, continue walking past it. You stop and help that person. Some of you, the people that are staying around you, the people that are around you, their houses are on fire. And God has blessed you in that uh, location as a fire brigade to help them. To help them get out of that house before they, de they are dead. So my brothers and sisters, this is a word of encouragement for somebody else. For somebody who's watching you right now. That do whatever it takes to help people. Sow a seed of life. Sow a seed of love. Help somebody today. Because there are people who are perishing. Right now as I speak, somebody is perishing. Right now as I speak, somebody is drowning. And they need your help. You will be amazed at how many people need you. It may not be financially. It may be just words of encouragement. You just encourage them. It may be just to be there with them, to comfort them, even when they are at loss. Help somebody. Brothers and sisters, this is the word I leave for you. Now, until next time, God bless you.